Sicilian Defense, Ken, Modern, Polyugovsky Variation, 6.NB3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black got the best of white in that end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop has a fresh opening created by e6, and the queen has a new diagonal created by e6. D4 offers to trade the more important central D4 pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx D4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx D4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. A6 prepares for a B5 pawn push to gain space on the queen side and stops the white pieces from using the B5 square. BD3 supports the E4 pawn, if the E4 pawn ever moves, the bishop on D3 will be attacking black's king side. BC5 develops the bishop and attacks the knight on D4. NB3 retreats the knight to the queen side, controls the A5 and D4 squares and attacks the bishop on C5. The bishop is now in a secure position. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. Games master. It is the final book action. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. This prevents the opponent from castling, which generates tactical opportunities by keeping the king in the center. It is good. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is quite good. This misses a chance to threaten a rook and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to move a knight to safety. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to take an open file with the rook. It is best. 
perfectly on point. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. It is incorrect. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This falls short of a more effective approach to deter an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a knight threat. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This poses a material threat. It is incorrect. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to suggest winning a rook. It is incorrect. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. In order to activate a rook, the adversary must move it to the seventh rank. It is incorrect. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This misses a chance to expose an assault on a pawn. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This removes the attacking pawn. It is good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. 
Black got the best of White in that end game. Right on target. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of White in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black got the best of White in that end game.